Hey there everybody, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Hopefully y'all are having a great week this week. Um, a little mild temperatures here at the farm. <coughs> um, it's been in the low, about the low 80s all week. But it's Saturday, um, so we gotta get down here and get a couple chores done. But uh, I'm gonna scoop out some feed for these heifers out of this creep feeder. And yes, y'all are probably thinking I'm crazy, or we're crazy, but I'll explain to you why here in just a minute. I'll probably wonder what in the heck are y'all doing feeding out of the bucket when you've got a perfectly good creep feeder sitting over there. Uh, it's because back before we had the creep feeder, we always fed our calves um, out of a bucket. Um, of course, you're around them a lot more. You can interact with them and all that. And uh, usually over those months that uh, you're feeding them, of course they get used to your voice and all that and they're not near skittish and it's been a couple of years since we've done fed out of a bucket so we're just wanting to just try it again this time and see if it may end up being worth going back to just feeding out of a bucket full time something i hadn't shown on the last few videos uh got a new little calf uh, mama 21 had him uh, I guess is about a week and a half maybe two weeks ago not really sure why she decided to calve early because uh, of course these cows here and the cows over in this field here are set to calve uh, um, about the first to middle of September but uh, even though the calf was a little early Calf is doing just fine so far. I don't know, is that a... It looks like a, I, I can reach the top of an eight footer. Yeah. Maybe able to do that, I don't know. We come to town, stopped at the co-op, um, trying to find a 10 foot wood post. No luck, uh, they may be out of them, but we gotta go in here and uh, get some uh, medium size calf tags and then uh, check on that post. And if they ain't got one, we'll just have to go to another farm supply store, see if they got one. Tags was looking for. Yep. Not the long neck. It's the regular. Large. Look at these here. Of course, they have the ones we need. Not the big ones, but they're out of the. I know Dad said these was too small to read. Got home from the co-op. Granddad noticed we had a uh, break in over here at the hay shed. But all it was was uh, somehow the mama cows had got the handle. Yeah, it's it's working. Got the handle unhooked from here. Not sure how, but they more or less had a heyday in here. But I don't know why the fence won't stretch. Come off this post. It may help a little bit. Got the insulator tied back on. Now it's gonna make sure and 
Hopefully it'll stretch and pull tight and we can plug it back in. with gas now at least i hope we are it's gonna be it for today's video um of course uh let me know down in the comments what y'all think or uh, what y'all do at your farm uh, do you creep feed or do you bunk feed and uh the reason why uh, i just want to see everybody's answers because uh no two farms uh, farm the same so it's just nice to see something different, see what works for some people and what don't. Um, of course, got the barn over there um, secured back up from the little break-in of them mama cows. But uh, thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want future notifications or notifications of future videos, uh, hit that subscribe button and that just lets me know. And YouTube know that you like what you're seeing. Plus, it helps get the channel out there um, to more people. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. I can go in here and edit this video and get me something to eat because if y'all been around the channel long enough, y'all know I like to eat. So, uh, have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.